Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns. As always, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment if you want to, and subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, help us grow this channel. Up here at the top, you're going to find links to any of the giveaways going on here at the channel. And during the video, there might be a link to other videos related to this particular video. As always, don't forget to look in the comments below. First comment pinned to the top for links to any of the products shown in this video. Or look in the description and you can find links there as well. Okay guys, so what I've got for you today is the Diatone Mama Mini F7 Stack. So this is a flight controller ESC stack. It is 20 by 20. You can use this for your 3 inch, small, or even 5 inch if you've got 20 by 20 mounting screws. Now this particular guy comes with the flight controller ESC, a capacitor, a positive and negative, a JST, or an XT30, sorry, and we have our little extra wire for our little harness wire for connecting the flight controller to the ESC. It also comes with a little metal plate that's going to show you everything you need to know about it. So I'm going to go clockwise. So starting at one o'clock, we've got our buzzer positive negative, then we have our USB plug, then we have a ground five volt and our LED port down there uh, getting close to six o'clock. We've got our VCC and ground. If you're gonna run a VTX, it requires more than five volt. Then we have at six o'clock, we have our TX6 and our RX6 with a ground and a five volt. Then we have a TX5 and an RX5 with a ground and a five volt. And then we have ground, five volt, our PPM, S bus, RSSI ports. Then we have five volt ground, our TX3 for smart audio and our VTX or video out. And then we have five volt ground and cam at the top. And then across the top, of course, we have our TX4 and our regular harness plug to go down to our ESC. Now, if we continue to look at this, we have lots of ports here and the differences we've got here between an F4 and an F7, if you don't know what they are, the F4 processor speed is 168 megahertz versus the F7 at 216 megahertz. The F4 has three UARTs where the F7 can have eight UARTs. And it has 16 megabytes of flash memory. It can run a 6S LiPo. And the ESE is a 30 amp times four and a 35 burst and it can run D-Shot 1200. It is also a BL Heli 32 instead of a BL Heli Suite standard. Now if we go ahead and start looking at some of the flight footage now, something to know about making a change from an F7 from an F4 to an F7 I mean is that you are not going to see night and day. The F7 and its capacity to hold more in its storage is going to be, and have more UARTs, is basically set up for our firmwares to be able to do more. So you're going to have more UARTs to do more things like GPS and as technology changes, as we get more things to work with and more things to add that we need UARTs for, we're going to have more UARTs to do that with and we're going to have a lot more space to hold in our firmware when we add things to, to work with those UARTs. Uh, if you're familiar with things like F3 to F4 and in Betaflight, when things started dropping out of Betaflight, they had to make choices on removing certain items out of it, um, LED controls, some other things. Um, I don't remember what they even are off the top of my head, but we had to remove things in order to update the software uh, to improve other parts of it. Uh, when we work with something like this and we have more storage space, we're going to be able to do more with the firmware and we're going to be able to improve the way we fly and the things we use to fly. Now I found it to be a super smooth flight controller and no problems at all with the ESCs. Everything as you can see uh, running super smooth. Um, a little help of course with the BQE 3 inch as fuck because BQE just makes floater frames in my opinion. Uh, my entire personal fleet is BQE because to me every frame I fly with them just floats. and. Uh, to me, I'm not the greatest pilot. Everyone knows that. I am a reviewer, but 
these things uh, and with this board it just was soaring and floating so I really enjoyed this as always guys thanks for stopping by don't forget to check out the links below and I hope this was useful to you and happy flying <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.